Steve here with Table Rock Tea Company, back in the field today doing some clearing for a future planting of tea. And today is going to be a product review because I'm about to use this tool. This is the, uh, how do you pronounce it, Ruipu, R-U-I-P-O-O, -O, grappling hook. Now, if you're like me, a kid growing up in the 80s, you probably got the Asian World of Martial Arts catalog. And man, I had always wanted a grappling hook. It wasn't until I was 51. But I actually had a legitimate excuse to buy one. So I'll show you what I do with these. Um, it's I'll put a link on uh, to Amazon where you can purchase this. Of course, going through that link helps our channel, so I appreciate that. But this is a lot better quality than I had anticipated, especially for the price. So um, I'll show you what I use it for. Don't worry, I'm not going to scale buildings like Batman or something like that. I suppose you could but uh, this is just the practical use of a grappling hook here on the tea farm. Okay, so first things first, the set itself, when you buy it, comes with the grappling hook, it comes with the carabiners, and it comes with um, this line. I think I, I think I got this line together with it. I might have bought it separately, I can't remember, but um, anyway, uh, really good, about 20 feet of line, it's got a, another uh, beaner on the end and a little throw bag there. And so that's the package. And the way this works, I'll show you in just a second. I'll change the camera here. Okay, so this thing is really compact, pretty nice. It essentially uh, screws open and screws shut. I'm going to try to focus in here. As you can see, this ring here locks these arms in place. Okay, and that's what locks it in place in the closed position and in the open position. So to open it, you unscrew it like so. And now these are free to fly forward. And so then you just t tilt it like that and then screw that down and now it's locked. So that's essentially how it works. To close it, you do the same thing. Just spin it like this, fold it, and then I guess you can't go too far, but when you spin it back, this thing will seat uh, yeah, in there and not allow them to expand. So pretty simple. And like I said, it's actually really heavy duty. These are, um, oh, I want to say it's like quarter inch stainless, um, but it's like, uh, it's a pretty hefty stainless, you know, uh, it's not kind of that wussy stainless steel that you get. So, all right, now I'll show you how I use it. Okay, so I have this small tree. It's probably about mm, uh, eight inch diameter, something like that. And it curves, if you can see that, but it's curving that way into my tea field. There's a path here that we're clearing this side. So before we get the mulch guys out here with the forestry mulchers, they'll be good to get rid of this. So there you go. So you can see the other trees over there are nice and straight. This one's wonky and it's a little bit overcrowded. So the problem is we're gonna have the forestry mulchers grinding over there. So I actually wanna drop it that way um, across the path. And so you can see where the line is going. That's my throw rope for the grappling hook. And that's all I use it for. This tree is not very big, but it's something that if I just cut, cut it, it's gonna fall that way. So I wanna cut it and then pull it. And I just need a little bit of leverage. Uh, like I said, it's not a very big tree. Um, I wouldn't do this kind of thing with, you know, some monster or anything like that. But uh, yeah, one quick toss with the grappling hook. Let's see if I can focus in, there it is up there. And it's just enough to catch, you know, the crotch of a tree and the branch or something like that, just to give some leverage to pull it. That's it. It doesn't have to be anything major. So it kind of beats like trying to tie a rope and do all that stuff. Because once it falls, then you just disconnect it, put it back in the pack and you're done. Okay, so I made my cut on the opposite side. There's my line. And it's enough that it started to almost pinch the blade. So I'm just going to walk over here, right in the wobble, and I'll just pull, and that should do it. All right, so that's basically it. The tree fell, missed the tea plants, we're good with that, and then I can just easily 
remove this. There's no cinch knots, nothing like that. Just yep. And you're done. So that's it. The Rui Poo grappling hook. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to see what else is brewing here at Table Rock Tea Company.